When I was a little kid, the scariest costume I have ever seen was someone dressed as Freddy. The costume was so convincing that my little brother totally cried. I definitely didn't cry. What is the scariest thing you dressed up as or saw someone dressed up as? Let me know in the comment section below. What's up guys? This is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and for this week's tutorial, I wanted to do something Halloween themed. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own haunted house and graveyard. Many of the items in there were actually suggested by the Instagram livestream that I had this week. I love all the little details, and Medusa's head is from Everything Tiny, the same place I got my little dinosaur bones that I made my dinosaur museum from. One of my favorite things about this environment is how tiny it is. So it might not look like much, but when you see how small it is compared to my fingers, it's, it's pretty fun. If you're looking for more Halloween themed videos, you're just in luck. This week's video is a collaboration with my good friend Marie from Catvalk. And she made this really awesome pumpkin illustration for Inktober. Marie's channel has everything from challenges to reviews to original art. So you will have definitely a lot of fun and different variety of videos to keep you entertained. So make sure you check out Marie, give her much love, and subscribe to her. She is definitely one of my favorite people here on YouTube. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of tutorials to keep you entertained. And if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like. I will very much appreciate it. My initial idea was to use these cute little monsters, but my environment turned out to be much smaller. These are from everythingtiny.com. I'll leave a link for that down below. It's not sponsored. So I decided to use Medusa's head. Er, me, gird. How cute are these tiny little creatures? I love them so much. If you haven't seen my dinosaur museum, I'll link that one also in the description box below. The full list of everything will be in the description box below. And the clay I'm using is from Sculpey. To make a somewhat marbled effect, just take two colors of blue and smush them together and then flatten them out. Of course, for the background, I made it in a bigger scale, but I figured I would show you on a smaller scale. So choose whatever side you like most. To make the moon, mix some translucent with blue. And I used a bubble tea straw to make the circle cut because I don't have nice circle cutters. Make an outline of a haunted house and you're going to flatten a piece of black and cut it right out. Why, why is my clay so smushy? Can you just get out of there without smushing too much? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> there you go. Once you have the haunted house, place it on yellow and then cut that out. If you got too many fingerprints, just clean it up with a rubbing alcohol and Q-tip. And this is when I realized, why did I cut the door out? This was supposed to be yellow too. Good job, Jackie. Let's fix that. Now you're going to bake it for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut out another piece of clay, but this time brown, and texture it with your toothbrush. So it kind of looks like a brownie. Put some green for the grass. And with a needle tool, just make small little circles to make the grass texture. So far so good. Now put the top baked piece on the unbaked grass. All right, let's put Medusa's head together. For the tree, take two pieces of brown clay and roll them together. And I do have to admit they kind of look like turds. <laughs> yeah. 
Now we want the tree to look old and kind of rotten, so take some chalk pastels and go ahead and dust it right on top. Now you're going to bake your tree for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, place it on your environment and give it some roots. Anytime you see that white stuff that I'm putting before putting the clay together, that's liquid Sculpey, so don't put any glue, it really is liquid Sculpey. Now to make it easy, once it's baked, we're going to pinch the bottom part. Now bake it for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. For the coffin, we're going to cut out a piece that resembles a coffin and then cut it out. You can take any colored clay that you want, but I took a kind of bronzy type color. Now I asked on Instagram what people thought VT stood for and I promised a shout out for the first person to get it right. And the person who got it right is Foxy Mew Mew. If you guys want to play more games like that for more fun shout outs, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And of course, I didn't calculate the height of my skeleton, so yeah, the leg doesn't fit. Let me fix that. There we go. So for those of you who don't know, Vlad Tepes is Vlad the Impaler, who is also known as Dracula in lore. And as I was putting the second foot, I totally, totally kind of smushed it. <laughs> Let's dust some of that brown on the tombstone and also on the coffin to make them look dirty. Now you're going to bake these pieces for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's add a couple of pumpkins here and there. If you want to make a clearing on the ground, go ahead and take your cutter and cut out the shape. I took one of the hands from the actual tiny kits and I painted it gray as well as Medusa's head because we don't want it to have a wooden kind of look. Let's add a little bit of an effect on the hand, put some liquid Sculpey, place the coffin and then add the details. Now you're going to bake the whole thing for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have tiny people, go ahead and paint them gray so that they look like they were turned into stone by Medusa. And of course I dropped it. And here you have it, your very own haunted house graveyard environment. Perfect for any Halloween decorations. A huge thank you for those of you who were in the Instagram live stream who were giving me suggestions. All done. I am super excited. So before I let you guys go, I want to show you, whoa, <laughs> Aki Bento. So thank you Canadian Customs for holding the first box, which came a month later. So now you guys get to see me unbox two Aki Bentos. So if you're not familiar with what Aki Bento is, it's a monthly subscription box for those of you who are anime fans. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. This is not sponsored whatsoever. It is purely for your pleasure. And next month's theme is Revival. You'll have things like Bleach and Full Metal Alchemist. For the September box that is titled Combat, we get an absolutely adorable Naruto Dorbs, which my brother has already claimed. Exclusive Spinner. A really cool t-shirt that is for once. Sometimes these boxes always give black t-shirts, but this is red and we have a Fate, Stay Night, and Full Metal Alchemist 
hybrid shirt. This is absolutely gorgeous. Also with the same theme, we have some stickers, which are going to go in my sticker corner. A Ninja Dino sticker, but it looks oddly enough like Yoshi. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a mug. Oh, this is really cool. We get a full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood mug. So, you want to take your beverage to go. It got you covered. Now for the October Akibento, we get... So we have a pop figure of Ryuk from Death Note, which don't watch the one on Netflix, it was terrible. A Ryuk looking face mask, so this is kind of good for winter, I guess it's kind of like a scarf. Blue Satan dad hat, and now the t-shirt is actually black. So the other one was red, and this one is black, and we have a Durarara, 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 <laughs> themed t-shirt. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, you guys are gonna fix it. A Durarara patch, a sticker with Rin in it. Lastly, with the theme of demon, we have the button. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until then, I will see you in the next video.